Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Doc GN with 915 rating versus Kara 99 with 1,365 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. We're going to see 99, when the rock, paper, scissors, student decide to go first, 43 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Natter, Servant, Set Rotation, Invocation, Ash, Punishment. They have Water, Fateful, Right, Fusion Spell, and Ogre. So start off by Activate Right, Summon Token, and then Activate Fateful, Normal Summon Water. Go for a Meow, and then Water 1, Fateful 2, so go grab Draco back, Gang 1000, Special Summon Wind, and then Fateful, Chain Ash, I'm going to cut off Griffin, and then Doodle Effect and Wind Effect, go grab Pranks, Dump Field Spell, Special Summon out Roxies, Doodle, Tribute Off, Add Back Field Spell, Add Back Wind, and then Activate Pranks, Discard Wind, Summon Token, Turn those into Doodle, Roxy's effect, banish field spell, draw wind, summon fire. I should have banished Draco back. Go for Bow Wow. And then they're gonna activate fire effect. Burn for 500, summon out water. Go for Link Spider. And then turn those into Anaconda. Anaconda effect, pay 2k, don't. But you know they're never punished because Roxy's just drew a prank it anyways. Uh, summon Enforcer. Enforcer effect now. Okay, I guess that's fair because it would have already been dropped, but. And then Forcer Graveyard Effects set. Uh, we just like would want to do that at end phase. And then draw fire, pass, draw celestial. Uh, Bow Wow, tribute the add back. So add back fire. And then add back water. Standby phase, Enforcer comes out. Main phase, Natter Servant. Is this going to be a Mystic Mind game? I think it is. Gravity Clasia, Dump Elder, Elder Effect, Target Enforcer, Enforcer Graveyard Effect, and then Summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia to go search, grab Maximus, and then activate Maximus, banish to summon, and then on summon, the opponent's going to activate Fusion Spell to battle butter them. Also, left Meow in Graveyard, by the way. Gonna like decide to put that back. Also, didn't put back a doodle, which is interesting. It means they play three doodle. Uh, effects will activate and then chain, wipe the board. So go dump, summon rock, summon water, summon wind, and then set rotation, pass over meltdown, and then they're gonna set mystic mine, activate mystic mine. And we are just going to skip because punishment is gonna be put out the Draco back. And that means that they're under mine. Um, now, while they don't have an out, they can't be decked out. So, Invoked will eventually have to do something. Okay, use the effect on Pranks to try to make it so that way they can deck out. But then gets hit with Imperm. I think it's actually a good play. Um, maybe could have been done like a turn before also. And they also should have taken 400 more because DP is there. Like I said, people just forget how to play once Mystic Mind's up. We've seen this so many times. Uh, and they also put a zero, like they kept a zero token on board. So they're going to go ahead and just go for game with Purgatrio. Now going on into the next game, we are going to see Opening Hands, Terraforming, Imperm, Ogre, Natty, Servant, Dasher. That's pretty good, first four cards. They have Griffin, Field Spell, Cross Out, Dasher, and Fateful. So activate Field Spell. And then field spell go search. So grab water. And then they're gonna activate summon. So they're waiting until they get Draco back to try to use this to grab temple and then summon Griffin. So water one, that two, chain ogre, summon out wind. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Cause like even if you like try to play around ogre then you eventually would get hit with it on Griffin or on Pranks, etc., etc., something. And then Cross Out can just be used to hit anything. Summon Out Rock. And then go for Doodle. And then Rock Effect. Banish Griffin. Draw Fire. And then Summon. Oh, they're thinking on the chain. Okay, so they're going to Imperm Doodle, which is just fine. Never mind. I guess, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And then Doodle, Tribute Off, Add Back Fusion. Yeah, I don't really wanna get hit with Imperm there. 
Then you go for Bow Wow. Effect. Burn for 500. Go Summon. And then Suh. End phase. Pranks. Shuffle back and draw. Once again, doesn't put back Meow. And then draw Fusion Destiny. Okay, okay. Saw draw. Draws Ogre. And then Bow Wow Tribute. Add back Water. And then add back Rock. Now. Oh, this is just going to be another Mystic Mind game. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. Yep. Natty Servant, Dump Elder, Grab Eclasia. Elder effect, target fusion spell, they're going to chain it, go for battle butler, they're trying to activate effects under mystic mine, nice, but they are going to activate field spell, end phase pranks, chain ogre, they will have an out eventually, so we're just going to wait until then, they're going to use winter cherries, hit dp, and then they're discarding win when they could also be just discarding the fusion destiny, that doesn't do anything anymore. Hey, okay, okay, got Draco back. Activate Draco back. And then Draco back effect, target Mystic Mine. They don't have anything that they can do in response to this, so it's just gonna get bounced. Normal summon out rock. And they don't have anything to stop. That's just game. That's 2035, 15. No, it's not. It's 500 off, actually. But 500 range is a little bit scary. Go for Doodle. And then they're going to activate Rock Effect. So Banish, Fusion Destiny, draw Imperm. And then they're not going to summon Imperm Doodle on the resolution. So they can't tribute the add back Fusion Spell and Fire. And then Fusion Spell for game. If they have another Imperm in deck, they would cross out the Imperm. But they don't because they drew it. Draw, draw. And then Main Phase. Activate Meltdown to go search. And then... Meltdown, grab Alistair, summon, effect, chain imperm, shuts down Nadir's servant, and then get rid of that, go for Amirage, go for Secure Gardena, activate Invocation, chain imperm, which will negate that, even though Meltdown's up, that doesn't do anything, that's not how this works, imperm is not negating the activation, it's just negating the effect, yep. Uh, because I remember Bell negates effect, not activation. No, Bell negates activation, not effect. Quite the opposite. So it does not resolve. Like, it doesn't go ahead and banish stuff and do everything. And then special summon out Ecclesia. And then Ecclesia, effect to go search, chain Ash Blossom. And then set Mystic Mind. Battle phase, attack into doodle it takes no damage oh wait it's negated from imperm <laughs> yo that's yeah hey, yo they, they, they said the same thing i said like yo like that's kind of funny i didn't even like i was thinking about like the imperm like negating the calm i completely forgot that they actually just like negated a secure guard no but fair enough so i mean it's not like was doing very much. I don't think they drew Ogre for turn right. But going on to the next game right now, Natty Servant, Nib, Schism, Summon Limit, and Knight. They have Right, Gamma, Ash, Driver, Pranks. Horrible hand. They have hand traps at least. Natty Servant, Chain Ash, Set, Pass, Draw Wind. Okay, that's nice. Eh, they might not even summon limits so that way they can Oh, this is weird. Fateful, Ghost Search, Griffin. And then discard driver, griffin summon itself out. So chain, nothing. <laughs> and then faithful go surge, yeah, that, that should just be fine. And then activate Draco back, target schism, normal summon wind, and you let that go through. I was gonna say you let that go through. You let them make meow, and then they're gonna use wind effect and you chain summon limit, and then they chain griffin. I guess, like, either way, they're really going to chain Griffin so they can play. But if they don't chain Griffin, then you've got rid of Meow, which is really big. Then you also have something on board that will let you summon Knight. So they're going to dump Fusion Spell, summon Fire. On the resolution, they're going to activate Knight Chain Link 1, Nib Chain Link 2. Same as, like, Griffin Chain Link 1, Nib Chain Link 2, just so that way you can get the body on board. Because, like, having an extra body is better than not having the body in a lot of scenarios. 
And now the opponent has gone through Meow. They do have Pranks, which will allow them to put that back, so that's good. Go for Link Spider. Attack Knight. Okay, so making Gamma live, but also at the same time telling the opponent that they have Gamma. So now they're going to play around it, not activate Night Effect, or like go for Anaconda or anything like that. Oh, that's just game. And they said lol. Yeah, you just let that go. Uh, you can just wait. They should have made him attack, because if they get greedy and like night effect, then you're still in there. Because you have right, which actually doesn't do anything now that I think about it. But, yeah, I mean, they said lol, but like, doesn't Ecclesia also just get game? Like, normal summon Ecclesia. 7th Al Alistair with no effect also just goes for game, and like, Meltdown goes for game. Like, they're not going to activate these cards because, like, there's Gamma there. And then, seeing how long the match was, it was about 38 minutes long. I'd say, like, half of that was probably Mystic Mind gameplay, which, unfortunately, Mystic Mind does make for some not great gameplay. Mm. I don't know. All the cards in Graveyard are really good. <laughs> Natty Servant, Summon Limit, Nib. Those are three good cards. And then top deck Fusion Destiny. Like, if they had Fusion Destiny in their opening hand over Schism, that would have been insane. Like, even though it doesn't seem that crazy, like, DP, Floodgate, pretty nice. DP, Floodgate, plus this? Even better. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.